we're in the uh, the mermaid lab, which is a, a maintenance shack out behind the Marriott. <laughs> and that's where the guys are sculpting right now this mermaid. This is the skeleton tail of the mermaid. Uh, building the armature has taken about close to a week. And uh, just uh, a lot of vertebrae to sculpt. And then we're trying to uh, break them up a little bit by adding these spines to make them look a little different and a little more interesting than just the same size spine going down the line. And then we've got, you know, we've got, uh, you know, 13 skeletons that we're going to use. And this would be the part that's out of the water, suspended from vines or whatever we're using. And then this is the part that's in water. So this will all be cast. And the bones are obviously very opaque, but fish bones have more of a translucency to them. So we're going to cast this in a semi semi-translucent material. Yeah, Don is working on the tail uh, for the mermaid skeleton. So, I mean, you know, some of them will be completely skeletal and some of them will have stretched, you know, uh, um, almost as if they've been mummified, will have stretched sinew between the bones and all that. After this is sculpted, we've got about another two weeks on this. Um, then I'm going to bring in some mold makers from Los Angeles and we're going we're to mold this and then cast it out of silicone. the extremities off, the arms, the head, the hair, uh, the tail, the fins, and then finish off the body, mold that, uh, so it's easier to cast, A, and then it's also easier to mold. Plus they just like cutting heads. <laughs> All right, let's hold the order. Yeah. It's a head. So here I see a bunch of hair goes on to the, uh, the mermaid heads. So it's lots of work. This is Lenny, he's painting the, uh, the mermaid. This is the uh, skeletal mermaid tail. And uh, right now we're just putting uh, dark colors on the tips to sort of bring it out. And these are the upper halves of the mermaids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the human portions. And uh, all these tails connect into the uh, spine on all these guys. The actual dead mermaids that Hiroshi did, they're a little sexier than these, but you know, what can I do? This is sort of what uh, marries the upper portion of the uh, skeletons to the tails. Then the dead mermaid that was sculpted, it has a representation that they had legs, you know, sort of going down into the tail, so we wanted to keep those leg bones to sort of represent them, so they kind of go inside and underneath all the ribbing, and then they kind of fan out into flipper feet. We were given several designs. I think it was four total that we went from from ILM. You know, you know, you can theorize about what these things should look like forever. You know, and and do design after design after design. But ultimately, the clock is ticking, and the production machine is moving forward. You need something to fill. And this particular one, which we are, you know, calling the hero, it's got about a, a two and a half inch thick silicone skin. So when Barbosa kicks it, it moves like whale blubber. Uh, this was about seven weeks, start to finish, every weekend. I mean, we had, you know, maybe two days off in the seven weeks that we've been on Hawaii <laughs> because we've been working on these guys. But I love it. I mean, this is why I got into the business in the first place.